What's going on? It's Abyss, and today we're going to be exploring the Bounty Hunter worlds. Historically, these worlds have changed several times over the course of RuneScape's lifespan, and clearly Jagex has no idea what to do with them. The latest iteration of the Bounty Hunter servers has been the removal of the PJ timer that was set in place a couple years ago. So technically, Pekang on these worlds is now exactly how RuneScape was supposed to be during the game that we all know and love. After the update kicked off a couple months ago, I wanted to see what type of people would be interested in PKing without a PJ timer. So I decided to head out in max gear and I really was curious if it would be either solo PKers, clans or something in between. So come on, join me and let's find out what's lurking nowadays in the bounty hunter worlds. Still not used to that new Void Waker animation, but we got a nice 8.6 mil to start us off. Another massive Void Waker spec for the KO, and this kill was actually pretty decent. 112 mil loot. We got an Ancient God Sword, a Toxic Staff, Twisted Buckler. That's that's pretty solid. Little AGS to the Void Waker fakey, and we buried him for another 65. RNG was absolutely disgusting there. Another 60 mil loot. I found this guy by the Chaos Altar and I was actually losing this fight pretty badly. I was trying to escape. I was heading over to the KBD cage so that I could use my seed pod to teleport out. And then all of a sudden, my RNG just picked up out of nowhere. Damage tracker went from negative to positive and my hits were just on steroids. What is going on today? Another 64 mil kill. My boy Ilya14 was hosting a Wilderness Agility event in 55 Wilderness. With the Bounty Hunter world changes, Jagus also updated this agility course to give more XP and better drop rates. One of the actual decent updates in recent years. A lot of stream snipers decided to show up and tried to PK some of the newbier members of the event. But little did they know, once you come into the agility arena, there is no going out. Like I said, once you come in, there's no going out. The log that connects the agility arena to the rest of RuneScape is all multi-combat. You can't eat, change gear or prayers, or basically do any action for about 10 ticks. And since you're stuck in multi, everybody can pile you and there's a very low chance of surviving. After realizing how outnumbered these guys were, they all decided to sit outside the agility arena and TB'd people that were restocking supplies. That's why I decided to gear up an absolute max with an Ellie so that I could fight them solo. However, I may have overstayed my welcome. I ended up getting full TB'd with just three brews.
With only one HP and a couple prayer points left to spare, I had to make a decision on how I was going to get out of here. If I keep kicking this fire giant, I'll eventually kill it, and I don't have enough brews to lower my stats. If I wait too long, I'll eventually run out of prayer, and the giant will eventually kill me. My only viable option was to X-log by closing my runelight client. That decision is one that saved me one to two bill worth of gear. My friend was waiting for me on the next row with a full inventory of supplies, and my Elijah is safe for another day. This has got to be the most insane escape in all of runescape if you guys didn't notice when i had two hit points i actually got hit a one that is extremely lucky something like a 0.1 percent chance i definitely could have died several times in this situation especially because when i logged in i had only four prayer points remaining which means if i logged out even a minute later i would have been toast quick side note ended up going to a music festival the last couple days of dead man mode i didn't even get to participate in the final and i feel like it's a bit too far gone to upload another dead man mode video since this tournament's already been over for nearly a week however this year was my biggest kill and i thought you guys might enjoy it considering it's a pretty crazy one baby that loot looks beautiful definitely one of the biggest kills if not the biggest kill in bracket three we got him for an entire ancestral set dragon hunter crossbow and a ton of other items i don't know how i managed to kill this guy on a pier my dps on this build was just so insane no idea how much this was worth for 07 or anything like that i didn't even bother swapping any of it off but that there was crazy and definitely one of my favorite fights on dmm this tournament I went on over to Rev Caves in the Giga Max set, and I found this guy named Jared. Inside the Rev Caves on Bounty Hunter Worlds, you can actually PJ your target, and that's basically what happened here. Some clan was watching, and they stream sniped and TB Jared once his food was lowered. I think that they realized that they were going to have a much tougher time killing me given the gear that I was in, but I decided to try and help Jared since me and him were having a fair 1v1, and of course, this clan was just basically ruining that. As you can see, Jared got full TB'd, and when someone's TB'd and there's a PJ timer, there's pretty much nothing that you can do. So I decided to cut my losses and teleport out. Right before I tellied out, I noticed that I got a random loot key in my inventory, and I teleported out with it to the gnome stronghold. When I went to go loot the chest, these guys were asking for a split, but I decided to go to the Ferrix Enclave, meet Jared, and give him everything back. I don't know how I ended up getting that loot. I guess that they just killed him too quickly, or... He got KO'd or something, but somehow I ended up with the key and everything kind of worked out. Now, what would a deep wild abyss video be without a good old fashioned tank test? I found a clan that was actually in complete max and I told them to go to the dark crab teleport spot. If they can kill me, they can keep everything. Five minute TB, no boxing or asking for help, and I'm risking a couple hundred mil. The only thing is PVP in the last two years has changed completely. There are a bunch of new weapons that have been added and it's near impossible to tank clans anymore. But you know me, I want to see if I still got it.
times like these that make me remember why I fell in love with this game. PvP used to be such a fun aspect of RuneScape. Going out in Deep Wilderness with your friends, PKing with a clan for the first time, Deep Wilderness actually being dangerous. Maybe one day JS will wake up and realize how much they've hurt the game and fix a few things and maybe even change things back to the way that they were and the way that we used to love it to be. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And also I live stream on Twitch every single day. So if you're interested in that, check it out. The link is down below in the description.